Let's talk about these interracial relationships. Happy Friday. I hope y'all are having a great Friday. Okay, so I've been hearing about this guy named Dr. Umar Johnson a lot lately. And honestly, I don't really know too much about him. The few things I have heard about him is that he was supposed to be building a school and people have donated monies to fund the building of the school, but the school still isn't up and running. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I'm here to talk about why Umar Johnson is concerned about a 17 year old child's dating preference. As I am sure some of you know, this guy, Umar Johnson, was essentially talking crap about LeBron James' 17 year old son taking a non black individual to the prom. Now, first of all, I don't think anyone should be concerned about who anyone is dating, adult or child, unless there is something predatory going on in regards to someone being hurt or harmed or some sort of abuse of some nature. But an adult being concerned about a child's dating preference is strange to me, especially a child who clearly has both parents present and in abundance of resources that I'm not privy to. And I just don't understand why an adult would be so vested in another man's child's dating life. A child who clearly isn't in any foreseen danger or anything that I could see from the outside looking in. As a nosy person myself, I believe sometimes we just need to mind our own business and just think about what we are doing and get things done for ourselves and our lives. But anyways, I just wanna go into a quick little tangent. This isn't gonna be long, it's gonna be quick. But I've been seeing a lot lately like where you have these individuals, male and female, who they'll, I'm gonna just put, I'm gonna make a little example like this. Um, Say I'm a blue person. I've been born blue, born and raised by blue people who are my parents. And, you know, maybe I've seen some discouraging things growing up with blue people. And I feel like, okay, you know what? I do not like blue people. Even though I'm a blue person, my parents are blue people. I do not like blue people. I am not dating blue people. That's out of the question. Blue people are ghetto. Blue people are trash. Who would date a blue person? I know I'm not. I'm getting with a red person. The red people are calm. The red people know how to act in public. The red people don't cause any issues. Y'all get where I'm going. Like, there's no blue or red person that's not going to do something negative. There are negative people in the red community and there are negative people in the blue community. And I think the problem arises when a person will be negatively affected in some sort of way by the people they came from or the people they were associated with in life. And sometimes they can feel like all of the people that they were born with, born around, know are going to be like that. And they want to separate themselves. But the problem comes is when they start pedalizing, is that a word? I don't know, I think so though. But anyways, when they start like putting the people who are not the blue people, for example, the red people on a high horse, like, oh, the red people are so much better and the red people can do no wrong. Meanwhile, the red people are just as ghetto or not good, just like the blue people. They doing the exact same thing, but the red people somehow present differently. 
it doesn't make sense. Like, the message I want to send is there are good and bad people in any race, color, or creed. There will be good and bad people. It doesn't matter if you decide like, okay, I'm going to only date people over here or over there. That doesn't matter. It may work and it may not work. It depends on you and it depends on the individual you, you are with. And it, it depends on what you guys do in your relationship personally. It has nothing to do with what the other red people or the other blue people are doing. So you shouldn't disparage your own people or disparage other people's people just to make your point to say, well, this is why I chose to date a red person or a blue person because of those factors, because that just doesn't make sense. And I know that was long and I hope that you guys got the analogy I was trying to make because I just did that at the spur of the moment. So thank you for watching. I hope you all have an amazing Friday. I'm about to take Paisley to the park. I wanted to show y'all my park pictures from yesterday, but I'll do that another time. And peace out, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.